today we start with an uh, economic lesson from the NSSC syllabus of Namibia. We are at 2.2 and we will discuss trade unions. Okay, uh, we, will look at, uh, we will define a trade union, we will identify the aims of trade unions and describe the advantage of why one must belong to a trade union. Um, the question that I have for you is that you must um, remember that we had work with business types in the past. Uh, so this will come up now often and you must remember um, to, if we work with a public limited company that you understand what we are talking about. So what you can do before you, uh, there will be three lessons on trade unions, but before you start with that, you can ask all your students to bring an uh, article from the newspaper, which is on trade unions, and then you can let them identify the trade union, the problem that the workers have, and how the trade union try to solve this problem. And then they can come and present it in the class and you can give them in total 10 marks. The reason why I do this is that the others can learn from other, uh, each from their friends or about um, trade unions and where they are involved and why they are involved. You can bring examples from Namibia and of any neighboring country that will broaden the student's knowledge. Okay, uh, we look at the definition of trade unions. Trade unions is an organization, the issue one point, that represent their members in negotiations with the management. So there will be negotiations between the trade union, which act on behalf of their members, and between the management or the owners. Three marks normally on that. What is the aims of a trade union? Uh, what I want to advise you is come up with different aims. Not all your aims is about wages, for example, and the benefits you get out of it. Uh, they protect you against unfair dismissals. According to labor law, they make sure that their workers is compensated for injuries at work. And um, they have lawyers that can protect their members against and make sure they are treated according to the labor law. And then um, they make sure that the members receive market related salaries and they try for good fringe benefits. Okay, then they advise and encourage the government to act democratically and in all the decisions and laws that they set, which involve labor. Okay, then we Look at why it is an advantage to belong to a trade union. Why will you pay money every month to be, be a member of a trade union? Firstly, trade unions protect you. Uh, they have the knowledge of the law, so they protect you uh, according to that. You can benefit from, um, uh, they provide counseling to HIV, workers, they provide loans with low interest rate to their members. Sometimes they will, prefer, uh, as I've said, protect you against unfair dismissal, or they will set up training courses that you can train for something else if you lost your job. They uh, will try to get you better safe and health working conditions. Um, as I also have said, they will make sure and work for it that you get compensated for injuries at work. And they will try to get better fringe benefits for you, where it comes to housing allowance, medical allowance, and so forth. Um, you remember this housing allowance and medical allowance is not a must. Uh, you, don't, you can't really force a business to pay you that. So that's why they can continue bargaining for that. Wage negotiations is something that continuously go on. So they will try to give you that market related salaries 
on the basis that you produce, say for example, more productive, that you bring down the cost of the firm, that you increase profit, that type of arguments which they will offer, why they think their members must get a better salary. The last point we will look at is the role of trade unions in Namibia. They fight for the rights of their members, they act on behalf of the interests of their members, in the interests of their members, and they are making the workers aware of the new laws which is applicable to them. They encourage the government to strive to democracy for everyone, treat everyone the same if they set the laws. They um, inform workers about HIV, how to prevent it, how to, if you are infected, how to use, uh, um, still being able to work in the business and still being able to earn a salary. Um, then lastly, um, they help the government to develop labour laws and a very important aim in our government is to protect the human rights. Okay, homework is the aims of trade unions for six points and in what conditions, under what conditions can a trade union fight for the members for better wages. And then example uh, examples of exam or test questions discuss the benefit of a worker to become a member of a trade union. And that is six points and describe the role that trade unions play in Namibia, why it is important that they are trade unions.